Hi guys, we just finished uh, working on that offset feature. I'm still within the same sketch, you'll notice. Okay, so I'm still working on that sketch that I just did the offset feature. I don't need to start a new sketch. If you've already clicked finish sketch, go back in and double click on sketch two again on that same one. Let's work within it, okay? Let's talk about how to create these six tabs quickly and easily because I could go draw rectangles, but man, if I'm gonna, six of them, really? I'm gonna have to do that by myself, okay? There's gotta be an easier way, right? And so you'll notice that I've already drawn in one of them. Um, I have a dimension too, okay? Be careful with your dimensioning here. And when I come back over here, um, I'll note, whoops, wrong document, this one. I'll notice that the dimensions they give me are to the center of this tab. It's 1.94 units out to the front of the windshield, right? So I need to be able to do that. Um, but, uh, hold on, there we go. But you'll notice if I zoom out here, or if I try to dimension here, it's not gonna allow me for whatever reason to select the midpoint of that line. So I'm gonna have to find a different way, right? And so what I'm gonna do then is if it's 1.94 units, correct? Let me check that. 1.94 units, always good to double check if you're not for sure. If it's 1.94 units from the middle of this to here, and this is 0 0.050, that means it's 0 0.025 from the middle to the outside. So we're just gonna do this. We're gonna click on the left side. We're gonna click here. Uh, we're gonna zoom out a little bit so I can place it up here. Okay, and it is 1.94 plus an extra 0 0.025. No reason to do that math on a calculator. Inventor will do that for you. Okay, so now that is placed in the correct location. I know that I have that locked in. Okay, now the cool part is it goes like this. So I've created one. How can I make Inventor draw the rest of them for me? My mouse is kind of messing up, so I apologize about the jumpiness here with my zooming and stuff. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to mirror it over, okay? And the mirror feature works like this. I already did it, I showed you guys with the passenger section, but we're gonna do it now with a, one, a, a 2D part, okay? A rectangle instead. But if I'm gonna do a mirror, it says, what do I want to mirror? So I can select this little rectangular piece and I'll go and zoom in a minute and do that. But it also wants to know the mirror line. And the mirror line has to be halfway between what I'm trying to mirror, this thing, and where I want it to be, which is going to be over here. So I need a mirror line that's right down the middle of this rectangle. So I'm not ready to do it yet, is, is the main thing. Okay, ready? I'm gonna choose that I want a line and over here somewhere we have the ability to draw construction lines and you'll remember construction lines are lines that are helpful for us uh, but they're not actually part of the drawing okay so basically it gives me something to like maybe choose as a mirror line right so I'm gonna use a construction line I'm gonna come over here and find the midpoint there it is of this and I'm gonna draw it all the way down and find the mirror midpoint of this line there we go right here okay uh, and by the way let's go ahead and do it this way too let's go to a second line that's the midpoint of these two if I can find it, where oh, there it was, right there, straight across to here, because uh, we're going to use that in a second. Just take my word for it. So um, we're done with that. Okay, uh, let's uncheck the construction lines. We're done with that. If you don't uncheck this, by the way, you'll continue drawing construction lines. It's going to drive you bonkers. So here we go. Ready? I'm going to now go use the mirror feature. And when I have the mirror feature, I can zoom in. I can say I want to select this line, this line, and this line. The mirror line that I want to use, I'm zoomed in a little bit too far. Whoa, well, again, okay, can you see it? Weird video, right? Here we go, ready? There's my mirror line. When I click apply, look what happens. It puts this one over in the same spot. It's symmetrical, right? That's pretty slick. Can you guess what we're gonna do next? If I have two on top and I'm supposed to have two on bottom, can't I just mirror those as well, right? And then if I have one that's over here on the left-hand side, can't I just mirror that and put it over on the right-hand side using the mirror lines? So I'm going to cut off the video here. I'm going to let you go ahead and take care of that on your own. But you can kind of guess where it's going. So hopefully that helps. That's a quick, easy way to create those six tabs. Why don't you do that? And in the next video, we'll come back and I'll have all six of those tabs done. And I'll show you how to extrude upward to the windshield surface, even though it's curved.